Hey guys, I just wanted to drop in and give you a quick update on the uh, the setups here, the mods and everything that I've been uh, using. Uh, just wanted, to, like I said, just give you an update as to how things are going with the carbon fiber build plate and stuff like that. Um, so I've got all three of my printers working overtime still. Um, and this is the first one that I set up with the carbon fiber build plate. I've got the upgrade kit installed and everything on there. Um, and all I can say is the carbon fiber build plate has been uh, very, very nice uh, to work with. I haven't had any issues at all. Um, really, the only time that I've ever had to do anything is when I'm like wrenching parts off of the build plate uh, to, to get a print off say the print bed is still too hot or something and I want to get the print off and I kind of rushed it and didn't let it separate naturally uh, with uh, as it cools down um, and then it basically what happens is it resets your bed and you'll have to re-level it again um, so that's the only thing that I've ever had to deal with um, I'm, I will say that I was using this uh, division miner um, nanopolymer adhesive it's great stuff it holds really really well and I uh, do recommend using that at first uh, but there's a break-in period with the uh, carbon fiber build plates after about 10 prints or so um, you'll notice the prints will start to stick a little bit more and I think what that is is the, the there's a little bit of a texture on there and the print actually starts to bond with that a little bit more as time goes on. And what I do is I just simply use less of it. Um, and actually now I'm to the point where I don't use any at all. All I do is spray in between prints. I spray it with alcohol and wipe it and just kind of, you know, reset the, the, the board basically. And uh, my prints stick really, really well. And they still come off just like they did the day I started using it. Um, I don't have to wrench on the prints at all. Um, so as I said, it just, I, I put my print down, you know, the, um, let it cool down naturally. The parts separate, um, very nicely. And I just simply take the parts off the bed and, uh, I don't have to, like I said, I don't have to wrench them off. And as long as you can, you know, keep from wrenching on the bed, uh, when you level it manually, it will stay put and you will never have to deal with uh, resetting it or anything like that. I've got my other two printers set up the same way and uh, this is the most recent one that I've got set up and this is the second most recent one and um, but I've had these in use uh, for quite a while and I have not had a single issue the only time I, I tried to rent a print off of this one while the bed was hot and it messed up the level, I had to re-level it. That's the only issue I had uh, whatsoever with, with the carbon fiber build plate. The other two, I installed them, I manually leveled them, and I have not had to touch the, the config file one time. All I do is start a print, goes up, purges, starts the print, wait for it to finish, cool down, come back, collect prints, start over. I'm loading up the 3kg filament spools, um, and these things have been great to work with here. I haven't had a single issue, um, like I said, and the, the upgrade kits have been holding up well. Uh, for those of you that don't know, these are the new... Um, stepper bracket mounts uh, here this is the old style there uh, this is just a little bit easier to do an install with and um, it's a little bit easier because um, you have access to the spool a little bit better and you know uh, <clears throat> you can see what's going on with the cables a little easier but uh, yeah everything has been really good and I just wanted to, like I said, I just wanted to give you guys an update as to uh, how the mods have been holding up. So, 
All right. Take care, guys.